Good day everyone. My name is Paolo and welcome to the Real Life in Postcard Views podcast. Every now and then, I will devote an episode to reading a story from Philippine folklore. For this episode, I am reading two stories, specifically from the Igorots of Northern Philippines, entitled The Creation and The Flooding. Both stories come from a book that is on public domain, entitled Philippine Folk Tales, compiled and annotated by an American named Mabel Cook Cole and published in 1916, during the American occupation. Again, this is Paolo. It's story time. The Creation In the beginning, there were no people on the earth. Lumawig, the great spirit, came down from the sky and cut many reeds. He divided these into pairs, which he placed in different parts of the world. And then he said to them, You must speak. Immediately, the reeds became people and in each place was a man and a woman who could talk. But the language of each couple differed from that of the others. Then Lumawig commanded each man and woman to marry, which they did. By and by there were many children, all speaking the same language as their parents. These, in turn, married and had many children. In this way, there came to be many people on the earth. Now Lumawig saw that there were several things which the people on the earth needed to use. So he set to work to supply them. He created salt and told the inhabitants of one place to boil it down and sell it to their neighbors. But these people could not understand the directions of the Great Spirit. And the next time he visited them, they had not touched the salt. Then he took it away from them and gave it to the people of a place called Mayinit. This did as he directed, and because of this, he told them that they should always be owners of the salt and that the other peoples must buy of them. Then Lumawig went to the people of Bontok and told them to get clay and make pots. They got the clay, but they did not understand the molding, and the jars were not well shaped. Because of their failure, Lumawig told them that they would always have to buy their jars, and he removed the pottery to Samoki. When he told the people there what to do, they did just as he said, and their jars were well shaped and beautiful. Then the great spirit saw that they were fit owners of the pottery, and he told them that they should always make many jars to sell. In this way, Lumawig taught the people, and brought to them all the things which they now have. The Flood Story Once upon a time, when the world was flat and there were no mountains, There lived two brothers, sons of Lumawig, the great spirit. The brothers were fond of hunting, and since no mountains had formed, there was no good place to catch wild pig and deer. And the older brother said, Let us cause water to flow over all the world and cover it, and then mountains will rise up. So they caused water to flow over all the earth. And when it was covered, they took the head basket of the town and set it for a trap. The brothers were very much pleased when they went to look at their trap, for they had caught not only many wild pigs and deer, but also many people. 
Now Lumawig looked down from his place in the sky and saw that his sons had flooded the earth and that in all the world there was just one spot which was not covered. And he saw that all the people in the world had been drowned except one brother and sister who lived in Pokes. Then Lumawig descended and he called to the boy and girl saying, Oh, you are still alive. Yes, answered the boy. We are still alive, but we are very cold. So Lumawig commanded his dog and deer to get fire for the boy and girl. The dog and the deer swam quickly away. But though Lumawig waited a long time, they did not return. And all the time the boy and girl were growing colder. Finally, Lumawig himself went after the dog and deer, and when he reached them he said, Why are you so long in bringing the fire to Pokis? Get ready and come quickly, while I watch you, for the boy and the girl are very cold. Then the dog and the deer took the fire and started to swim through the flood. But when they had gone only a little way, the fire was put out. Lumawi commanded them to get more fire and they did so. But they swam only a little way again when that of the deer went out and that of the dog would have been extinguished also had not Lumawi gone quickly to him and taken it. As soon as Lumawi reached Pokis, he built a big fire which warmed the brother and sister and the water evaporated so that the world was as it was before, except that now there were mountains. The brother and sister married and had children, and thus there came to be many people on the earth. Thank you for listening to the Real Life and Postcard Views podcast, available on Spotify and YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We have new content every other week or so. If you're listening on YouTube, hit the notification button and drop us a comment below. Visit our website at paulomaligaya.org. This has been Paolo. Have a wonderful day!